Have you heard of triangulation fraud? It's kind of complicated, but here's how it works. In this example, I'm the bad guy, and I'm going to post this MetaQuest 2 virtual reality game system on eBay, brand new, for $300. You see my posting and you get very excited because you know that a MetaQuest 2 system costs a lot more than 300 bucks. So you buy it on eBay from me, and I got $300 in my pocket. As the bad guy, I now hop on to Target.com and I order a MetaQuest 2 on a credit card to be delivered directly to you. It cost me $500 on that credit card. But keep in mind, I have never touched this gaming system. Target's going to deliver it to you. And I know what you're thinking. Tom, this is a terrible scam because you just lost $200. What you don't know is that when I bought the gaming system from Target.com, I didn't use my own credit card. I used a stolen credit card number belonging to this very kindly grandmother. She had it on the internet for some reason, and I got the information, and I used her card. It's a very clever scam because you got your gaming system from Target.com. You aren't complaining. Meanwhile, eBay sees this as a very normal transaction. They're not complaining. Me as the bad guy, I got 300 bucks burning a hole in my pocket, so I'm not complaining. But maybe grandma notices this $500 charge on her credit card when the bill comes, and that's going to make her very, very sad. If she catches it, she'll likely call her bank and have that charge reversed in what's called a chargeback. And what that does is it leaves Target eating the cost of this thing. And you know what Target's going to do? They're going to raise their prices to make up for that loss, and so we all end up eating the cost of this fraud. Your job as a consumer is to take a look at your credit card statements to make sure that there's no wrongful charges on it. Look closely, or else you're going to get caught holding the bag on this scam. Have a great day, and be cool.